Now what do we have here? Well, let's find out. All right, first we have the Unify USW Light 8 PoE, 8 port PoE switch. And we also have a USW Flex Mini 5 port switch. And two more of the same. I currently have basic D-Link switches in my network, but I plan on switching those switches out with these switches from Unify to unify my network. What I'll be working with here is three of these USW Flex Mini 5 port switches, which is powered by either a Type-C power adapter or through PoE in on the first port. I also have this USW Lite 8 PoE switch. Now this here will be powered by a barrel connector AC adapter as it will be providing PoE power on ports 1 through 4. So let me go ahead and get rid of some of these here and unbox it for you. All right. So looking in the box here, it looks like we have the five port switch itself. The manual and the USB type C power adapter. Go ahead and put that off to the side. And we'll go ahead and open up this A port switch. Again, we have another manual. Mounting hardware. The A port switch itself. Again, the first four ports will provide PoE power. And we will be powered by this uh, input 54 volt 1.1 amp inlet. goes the actual mount. It will be used to mount to the wall. And here's the barrel jack power brick to power this 8 port switch. All right, now let's get to switching. I'll be replacing this switch, this switch, and this switch. The first switch I'll be working on is the 8 port switch. I'll first unplug the power from this TP-Link 8 port switch, unplug all the ethernet cables, then mount the new mounting hardware for the Unify 8 port switch, mount the switch itself, plug the power in, and then reattach all the ethernet cables. Okay, the 8 port Unify switch is all mounted, powered up, and Ethernet cables plugged in. Looks like I have activity. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the Unify controller and adopt the switch in the Unify console. I will now log into my Unify console on my UDM Pro and adopt the switch I just mounted. I'm going to go ahead and go to my network and click on my Unify devices. And from my list of Unify devices, you can see my USW Lite 8 PoE switch that I just installed is pending adoption. I'm going to go ahead and click that and adopt this device. Looks like the switch is now updating. Pow pow, bingo, bango, and Yahtzee even. Looks like it's adopted. All right, uh, two or three more switches to go and we'll be done. Now this switch is currently powered with a power adapter. Fortunately, the ethernet uplink is on PoE for my Unify USW 24 PoE switch. So this five port USW Flex Mini will power right up with this switch switcheroo.
Yep, powered right up. Now let's go adopt this. Now we're back at the Unify console, and just like the USW Lite 8 PoE, our USW Flex Mini is ready for adoption. So let's go ahead and click on that and click Adopt Device. And just like that, the USW Flex Mini is now adopted. And now let's rinse and repeat for another two switches. Now it's time to switch out this switch on the back of the TV. First, we'll go ahead and unplug the power. And unplug all the Ethernet cable. This switch is attached with snap Velcro, so we'll go ahead and pull that off now. We'll be attaching this USW Flex Mini with command strip. First, to get some alcohol and something to wipe the surface with. Okay, let's give that a moment to dry through evaporation. All right, let's go ahead and attach that command strip, peel the back it off, and stick it onto the back of the TV. Just hold it there for about 30 seconds. All right, it looks like that's securely fast. Now we'll go ahead and make our Ethernet connections, and again, this one will be powered by PoE, so it should power right up. Okay, it powered right up. Let's get this thing adopted. We're back at the Unify OS console, and as you can see, as we previously done, we have the USW Lite 8 PoE already adopted, the USW Flex Mini that we did earlier adopted, and now we're going to adopt another USW Flex Mini. So first of all, go ahead and click on Network, click on Unify Devices, and as you can see, we have the USW Flex Mini pending adoption. Go ahead and click that, and adopt it like we did the other switches. We'll give that a moment to update and process. We'll go ahead and perform this update and confirm. And bam, she is ready. Now I have a third switch, but I still got to figure out where I want to install that one. But for now, that's been it, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.